My name is Nick Thorstensen. I'm out of Fargo, North Dakota. Uh, my golf background is I've been playing since I can remember. It started with my dad bringing me to the golf course with him and just driving around in the cart. And then it, it progressively got into me playing, never seriously, but been involved with it since I was about eight to 10. I hover right around like a 20 handicap. I'm here today obviously to get fit. What I hope to accomplish is get longer and better dispersion like we all do, right? <laughs> that's the name of the game. Okay, so that one's smashed. And that's a much better shot. The reason I want to get fit is I've never been fit um, the whole time. I just kind of pick and choose and try and figure out the best. So I'd rather have, you know, someone that's experienced know um, what to do. I don't want to make the game of golf harder on myself than it needs to be. So I just want to get, get fit and you know, make sure that the clubs aren't the problem and, and it's me. <laughs> My name's Nick Thorstensen and I'm here to get fit like a pro at Second Swing Golf. So Nick, great seeing you today. Uh, you too. Drove from Fargo? Yep. Okay. You're crazy to drive from Fargo all the way yeah. to come see me, but, that, but I, <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, so the priority today is definitely we we talked about right irons. Yep. Uh, we definitely want to take a look at the driver, make sure the driver's right, make sure the whole bag kind of fits together, especially if we're going to do a new set of irons. Yep. Um, and then you then we'll check the putter later too. Perfect. Okay, sounds good. Well, let's grab your seven iron. You can hit a few seven iron shots. Let's see what we're getting. So this is you've had these you've had these for a while. Yes. Were they fit for you? No. Okay. They were a random buy off of uh, eBay, I think. Cool. I, just... I, I buy random stuff off yeah. eBay too, so yeah. no, it's okay. It was the, um, I was a big fan of the Big Break back yep. when that when that was on. Yep. And Adam sponsored the Big Break. Yep, absolutely. So I was like, oh, Adam's clubs, marketing, yeah. you know? Yeah. No, they, you know, they made, they made some good models, especially the one you have there. I mean, they made some really good stuff for, for quite a while. So. Yeah, I've used it for 10 years. I, I like them, but just, yeah. it's so, time. I mean, what would make a better seven iron for you? Hi, fly higher, lower, um, more consistent, farther? More, cons yeah, all of the above. Okay. Yeah, Okay. Uh, <laughs> tighter dispersion, you don't, You're not longer. looking for much today other than everything. Yeah, exactly. So okay. it shouldn't but, be that, that hard, but okay. yeah. Um, um, so how many years have we been playing these? Um, I've, these ones? Yeah. 10. Okay. So have you noticed as you've gotten a little bit older, has, have they gotten harder to hit? Um, definitely on the higher end. Okay. The, cause I used to have four through, it came with a three. Right. So it came three iron through pitching wedge. Yep. Took the three iron out, took the four iron out. Um, so I'm down to five, six, and then I replaced the high end with the seven wood. Okay, perfect. So. Sounds good. All right, well, let's hit a few golf shots. Let's kind of see what kind of launch conditions we're getting, and then we'll kind of talk about where we're going to go. Perfect. Let me just make sure I have this on seven iron, because as we were talking, there we go. That was not a driver. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was not a driver, no. No. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so when we're out playing, what do you figure this carries for you? What are we playing? What's our seven iron distance we're playing this for? Uh, I have it in my phone, but I think it's like 170 is okay. what I, okay. I think I have it at. Okay. Around there. Yep. All right. Hit a couple more. So is there, I mean, is there any particular manufacturers you're interested in trying? Uh, open, 100% okay. open. Um, if it was- Favorite kind of customer, open. Yeah, <laughs> um, if it comes down to, if there's one that's like, they're neck and neck and it just comes down to looks. Right. Maybe 790s, but, or okay. like a tailor-made, okay. something like that. But I mean, I'll take performance over looks at, the, at okay. this point. Perfect. So. You hit a couple more shots, I'm gonna grab something. Okay, so, you know, kind of following along the lines of what you've been playing far as look-wise. Okay. This is a Mizuno 
Hot Metal Pro. Okay. Okay, so it's going to have a similar look to it, you know, a little bit more modern construction. Okay. Shaft kind of similar along to what, what you've been playing. Okay. So, you know, kind of give us a good indication as far as from our standpoint is, hey, is this, is this you know, a good upgrade? Is this a good, but I, I consider this a very good place for us to start. And again, you know, the big thing too is play to set of irons for a long time. Look and, look and feel are going to be a big thing for you, you yeah. know, because now all of a sudden it's like, hey, because I'm going to tell you, we're probably going to get better numbers with every iron we hit. Yep. But you got to love the way it looks. You got to like the way it feels. Because the last thing I want you to do is be playing golf in Fargo and hit a bad iron shot and go, Larry. Larry. <laughs> right? We don't want that happening. Well, uh, I get that excuse for like a year, right? After you get, I get them. You, you well, know? no, you get it through the 30 day play 30. guarantee. After that, you're on your own. No. Yeah. All right. So hit this. Let's see what you, let's see how it feels and take it from there. Okay. So ball speeds up, spins down a little bit carries now I mean we didn't even make the best swing at it no that carries 182 yards better launch conditions yeah let's try that again is that height all right or is that height yeah 111 feet absolutely okay. just looks bigger on the screen then. just it yeah it looks bigger on the screen than it normally is all right so hit a couple more see that'll happen with that but I feel like this will turn out good yeah, I mean, that's still carried 170. So does the mist tend to be a little thin, maybe? Uh, y all of the above. I have some thins, I have some chunks, I have, you know, a little bit of everything. Well, so. then, you're, then you're a golfer. <laughs> Bottom line, you're a golfer. If you got all the, if you got all the, I got shot, all the shots, if you got all the shots like that, then you're, you're, doing, you're doing just fine. All right, let's go ahead. One more? Yeah, one more. No, we're not. We're not going to end on that one. We're going to take. We're going to take one more than that. Okay. Feel like it's heavier in the head, and the shaft is lighter. That's what the, my feel is on it. I don't know if it is or not. No, that's a, that's correct because it is. I actually did go just a little bit lighter in the shaft. Okay, is that is that a bad feel for you? Um, new, unique. New, you new. know, it's just getting it's, used to it and. It's just, like it's just different. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'd rather have lighter, yep. a lighter shaft than a heavier shaft, though. I like that idea. I like, I like the way you're thinking. Because that's a player's distance, and then is this a player's distance too, technically? Yeah, technically a play. Yeah, the the hot metal. Yes, yeah. definitely, definitely consider, definitely consider players a player's distance. Because my like my seven wood right now is right around that 200. So if my if a seven goes now 180 now yeah. it's reconfiguring the top end of the that's bag, where know. we just have to look at the top end of the you know exactly. and look at our look at our the possible gap issues that we might have but then again you know maybe it's not necessarily you know like here's the p790 i'm going to have you hit but you know maybe Maybe we find out a P770 works better for you. That's going to spin a little more. You might not hit it quite as far, yeah. but you're going to hit solid shots with it. Yeah. I mean, that's why that's why you're here trying, trying it all, trying trying it all, and trying to figure out what you want to do. Because the question is, you know, like we talked about, you were kind of like, well, I, I'd like a little bit. I'd like a little bit of everything. Yeah. But sometimes sometimes it's too much. Yeah. You know. I mean, I can give you, I can give you a couple sets of irons. You're going to just hit absolute bombs with a seven iron, and you're going to go. Well, now I got to go from seven wood to seven iron. Yeah. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense. So no, let's hit this. Let's see where it is. I mean, I've got, I've got some thoughts based on what I've seen with your golf swing that we need to do. Pretty solid right there. How'd that one feel? Felt pretty solid. Felt like okay. it connected it pretty good. First one did too, but it felt yep. like a lighter. That one felt good. Okay. Okay, the thing that I don't like is 
we're picking up distance, but we've lost a lot of spin. Okay. You know, you launched that at 17.9. PGA Tour averages around 17, 17 and a half on a launch angle on a seven iron. They spin it at 7,000. Yeah. You're spinning at 4,600. That, that's not really, there's not a lot of stopping power no, that's there. That's like four iron. Absolutely. Yep. So hit one more with that. I'm going to grab something else for us to try. Oh, and I felt like I left the face open, but we'll see. Not too bad. Do you guys have Mirias or however you say that? Um, we do. We don't do, we don't do a heck of a lot with them. Okay. Um, I don't think they're, they just look nice from the, <laughs> from the pictures. But I don't think they would give me a lot of uh, forgiveness in what I'm looking for, but yep. they just, they look pretty. They look, they look very pretty. But pretty, pretty doesn't, pretty doesn't necessarily get it done sometimes. <laughs> and I think honestly, based on what I've seen so far, probably going to, we're probably going to take a really good hard look at tailor-made P770s for you. Okay. Okay. Little bit. Thinner of a top line? A little thinner top line, a little bit more forgiving, but definitely it's going to spin. Okay. You know, and I think for you, you know, like we just talked about, oh my gosh, we don't want a seven iron that goes too close to our seven wood. Yeah. But you need to, you need to stop the ball on the greens. You know, when it gets to be July and August, your golf course probably gets pretty firm. Yeah. We need the ball, we need the ball to stop. Yeah. So let's try the, let's try the T2 here. Let's see what we get. Would you say that's a fairly typical miss? Uh, no, or not really. I feel like my irons, my current ones, I feel like I go more, you go left, more left than, okay. than right. Okay. Um, I mean, it depends on what, how I wake up, you know, on which golfer shows up. So. <laughs> once again, you just once again you just proved you're a golfer. Yeah. So. Okay. Pretty good shot right there. Hit a couple more with that. It's about as good as I can hit it. Yep, we like that. All right, so that that's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. So I'm grabbing something else. I'll be right there. Okay. I'm gonna try something in the Callaway family. So this is gonna look pretty darn similar okay. to what you, are, what you are currently playing. Okay, pretty, pretty close, right? A um, little different? Yeah, it's still a little thicker yep. than my... In the top line? Yeah, cause like, oh, you no, know, it's pretty similar, but I think just like the sheen yeah. on, on both of them kind of makes it... This well, that's the hard thing. That's the hard thing sometimes looking at new golf clubs is they look too new. Yeah. You know, yours, yours, are, yours, are, yours are nicely worn in. All right, let's see what we do with this. Does this have like offset on it too, or? A little bit. A little bit. We hate Did it get that or we no? Hate, we hate nothing about that. Yeah, that one felt great. We hate nothing about that. <laughs> you know? Nick, all I can tell you, it's not my first day. We're, we're <laughs> really? trying, we're trying, really? we're trying things, but it's not my first day. I feel like this is. This is this this is it, this right? Is, yeah, getting close. If it's not it. Well, I think it. I think it's it. To be totally honest. So that spins good at sixty-four. Spins great, Perfect. especially if we're launching at seventeen. Now, here's the thing. You've got to stop. There's two ways to stop a golf ball. You can stop it with spin or you can stop it with trajectory. Yeah. Okay. Either way on a seven iron, I need a land angle somewhere in that 50 range. Cause if it's not landing, if it's not coming down that steep, you're going to have trouble stopping. It's just going to keep rolling. It's, gonna, it's just going to keep like rolling on yeah. because you tend to launch it a little bit lower. And part of that is because you play in a lot of wind 
right, in yeah. North Dakota. Yeah, it's so windy. <laughs> you, yeah, you've gotten used to you've gotten used to launching it low, kind of trapping it a little bit. So there is nothing, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But I've got to give you an, at your speed. I got to give you enough spin to stop that golf ball. Okay, hit a couple more with that. Okay, left the face just slightly open, yeah. but still hit a very good shot. Still get good launch, good spin. The thing that I like about that miss right there, so now we push it, because you're gonna hit shots left to right. I mean, yeah. that's just the reality yeah. of the game. But the thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure your front to back, your, your yardage is when you miss it, you know, you don't hit it 150 one time and 200 yeah. the next time. That still flew 174 yards, so you just pushed it on the right side of the green. Yep. Okay, you didn't end up in the still water. Still pin high. Didn't end up in the water or the right. bunker. Okay, so now give me a couple. I'm feeling really good. I'm just going to hammer this seven iron swing. I feel like I don't do that with a seven. We'll try it. Okay. Okay. Right, maybe a little too much, but just feel like, you know, you got to carry something and you're just going to hit it a little firmer. You know, you're just going to hit it just a touch harder than you normally do. Okay, so now the speed goes up about three miles an hour. Spin doesn't go crazy. We left the face open just a little bit. We get a very good shot. I just want to make sure, and, and that's the whole secret about a good set of irons, is distance control. Yeah. It's pretty good. So yeah, I the, feel the, like on the the chart. I don't know if they've all. They're yeah. all like very tight grouping. Yeah, they're very good. Okay, so the one iron that I want to try is we're going to try the 770 in a similar shaft to that and see how that works. Okay, okay. so that's the that's the only other one I'd say we're going to try to see if to see if that, that's going to work for us. But otherwise, I think we're. Uh, we're pretty much done. And oh, by the way, it went a little more upright in the lie angle for you. Okay. So like you said, yours tend to miss left a little bit. Yeah. And we were missing right with standard lie. So without letting you know, I just I just snuck two degrees perfect. upright in you and it worked <laughs> perfect. Yeah, just well, let see, me sometimes, hit, you know, See, the, sometimes if I announce it, then, then people, people try and correct people it. People change, or, they, yeah. cor they correct what they do, you know, I mean, Length of a golf club, people kind of, they notice right away. But lying go, if you sneak it in, it's the best way to do it. Because I just want them to swing. Yeah. I don't, want to do, I don't want them doing anything weird. And standard length looks pretty good for you. Your posture Perfect. looks really good at address. Well, that's good. Got something going for me then. You got, you got, a, lot, <laughs> you got a lot going for you than you think you do. All right. So this is virtually the same setup as you were just hitting in the Callaway. Let's see how it works. Okay. Much more solid there. That, that felt, was a lot better. Yeah, that felt yeah. good. Very good. But, so that would be like my normal shot shape slash miss. Right, but not carrying it quite as far as we were carrying the apex. Right. Okay, let's hit that, hit one more with that. And I, it could be how I'm hitting it too. Yeah. And how my body's reacting to the club shaft combo, but mm -hmm. I feel like the dispersion was better on the, uh, the Callaway ones too. Well, here, do me a favor, make, make me a couple more swings with that and say hello, say hello to your new seven iron. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you, you, and, you and that are, you know, you're going to be friends for a while. You're going to be friends for a while. You know, 10 years, 10 years is a good run with a set of irons. I, yeah. I like that. Yeah. You know, you know them, you know the shots. All right, let's hit, let's hit that one more time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, put ra <laughs> yeah, wrap it done. up. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> really. I mean, there just there just isn't. I mean, we don't even have to discuss it. I mean, it sounds better off the face. Everything everything's better about. Yep. It. 
So we're going to do five through pitch, or do we want to five, do five through five through gap wedge? Uh, you, what do you have? What do you have for what, what do you have for wedges right now? I would, if I'm hitting it these good, I would be open to a four and get rid of the seven wood. Okay. Potentially two. Okay. Um, gap wood. Right now I have pitching wedge, and then I go uh, 52, 56, 60. Okay. Let me see if I have. Let me see if I have a set of 21s on the wall. Okay. Probably not the same shaft, but at least we can hit the five iron and get some idea of how far we're going to hit that. So, okay. All right. You can you can either take a break or hit a couple more shots. No, I will. I will end on that one. Okay. So that one's smashed. And that's a much better shot. There you go. So now we just now we hit it absolutely dead straight 246. Look at you. Look at that. 280. Probably about as good as I'll hit it. So we've got the we've got the gap wedge in the apex. So let's hit that. Darn good, young man. Good work there. Yeah, I think we got all that. Now we just need to do just need to do the putter. All right, so Nick, first of all, uh, thank you for coming in and getting fit. Uh, the full bag fitting is no joke. That's a lot of golf swings. Yeah, it was, made, so. it was a lot. <laughs> um, but uh, first of all, I just want to ask your experience on a fitting. I mean, this, so this was the, the first fitting that you've really ever done. So um, yep. you worked with Larry for almost well, a couple hours there. So uh, talk to me about just your thoughts on that experience. Uh, yeah, it was great overall. <laughs> Definitely recommend it. Um, learned some things about the game, was able to, I believe, gain in dispersion mm -hmm. and some distance with the irons. Um, driver is a work in progress, but we got something to yeah. get that dialed in for, for future. Um, and then we didn't show up, but we also did go over the putter and mm -hmm. got that pretty much dialed in Yeah, as far as with that. So. Right, and I think it's so, so, so let's go through kind of what you, you, know, you talked about sort of the goals coming in, right? And things that you were really looking for and, Obviously, with a full bag fitting, that can be maybe a long list sometimes. But yep. um, you know, going back, looking at those things, um, did you kind of accomplish what you wanted to accomplish here? Then maybe there's some other things that you picked up too that you didn't really anticipate. Yeah, so definitely throughout the irons, uh, gained a lot as far as um, knowing my numbers, overall dispersion, getting a little bit distance, um, learning my spin numbers and things like that, and then. Larry had said like, hey, if we if we don't need to get you a new driver and we just need to work on the mechanics and the fundamentals, then, you know, let's do that. But, you know, we found something that, you know, is gonna help more long-term than than what I currently have. Yeah, and so, I actually, I overheard too as well, there's maybe a, a plan for another visit here soon. So talk to me about, uh, it sounds like you're gonna be play a few rounds of golf with these new clubs once you get them. And then um, is there a plan to meet again after that? Yep, so um, we're gonna give it a go. There's a couple things that we may need to tweak. The driver, um, we have it as a left bias setting. So yeah. if I can get that dialed in, uh, get that more into a neutral path and then gapping between the my 52, 56, maybe potentially adding a gap, okay. gap wedge in there to take over that. Um, and yeah, just kind of working on the, the bottom end gapping. Sure, sure. Well, I guess as we sort of kind of wrap this up here, I know you're probably exhausted and it's a little been, bit. <laughs> it's been, a, it's been a, a long journey for you here, but um, I know you mentioned it right away that you recommend it, but I guess, is there any word of advice maybe for players of any skill level um, or any player type out there, you know, if they're you know, thinking about getting fit and not quite sure, is there any message you might have for those players? Uh, if you can, break it up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> over yeah. a couple of fittings, um, which which would be nice. Uh, other than that, yeah, it's definitely recommend it. It's good to know your numbers mm -hmm. so you know what what your stopping power is. You know, mm -hmm. even if it goes one eight, as a casual golfer, we don't really, I don't really think carry and total. Right, sure, I sure. just think total. Yeah, yeah. So learning a carry number, stopping power, mm -hmm. um, and things along those lines. Um, but yeah, I mean. I feel like my, my irons, I'm a pretty decent iron player. Yeah. It's just that driver gets me in trouble, whether it's sky in yeah. it, left, right, all yeah. that stuff. So yeah, it was good to know my numbers and have mm -hmm. a have a plan moving forward. And yeah, well, 
And hopefully that plan now is going to include a lower handicap and get player better golf and some lower scores. So uh, get some birdies. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. more birdies, more, uh, birdies. more fun, I'm sure yeah. as well. So, so Nick, thank you very much for thank you, Drew. coming in. Thanks for having um, me. Appreciate uh, it. We really appreciate it. And uh, golfers, if you want to get fit, um, let us know. We can schedule a fitting. And also, if you want to be on a video on the YouTube channel like Nick here, let us know as well. But thank you guys all for watching. Really appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.